Okay, now this is number three, and uh, this is the one that they had crunched down and the deck is twisted. I, could, I got it so it doesn't, the wheels sit flat, but I got some of them adjusted up and some of them adjusted down to do that. Now, I'm not worried about saving the deck, but before I go pulling it all apart and scavenging parts off of it, I'm wondering if I still can salvage the motor. So, with that in mind, see, this thing here is crunched down pretty bad. Let me bring you over there. If it didn't break the block, we might be able to save it. Can you see that puppy? That baby is really crunched down in there. So I might be able to change this out. And this might be a good motor. And uh, don't want to throw away a good motor. Although I did notice that uh, this one has no oil filler tube in it. Well, that might be a problem. So. That. Underneath my football, holding this thing here in for some reason. I think I might be better off just changing that whole carpet. I really don't want to. I don't know if it's going to be rewarded. So take a chance. We'll take a walk on the wild side. Hooks in there. Can you see that? I don't want you guys to be disillusioned. I checked the oil and it's not showing anything on the stick. But some of you who have been following me for a while will remember when I took some used oil and uh, filtered it through a, an old t-shirt actually. And I've been using it in my oil cans. And uh, so, got nothing to lose here. I had a start fluid out there just in case. See if the old man can get down off the sand again. The back end of this thing is really tweaked pretty bad. Let's see what happens here. I am I'm gonna build myself a, a, a lift bench one of these days. Save my back. Grab you here, see if we can uh, do this together. I got the starting fluid over there. Full disclosure now. All right now. I'm gonna touch up over here. I'm, I'm not even shutting the camera off. I'm gonna put this up raw footage. You know, if, if it's some of it is boring, I'll speed it up for you. So let's see what happens here. I got it on high. This thing doesn't have a plunger. No choke. Let's see what happens. Oh, it backfired. Oh, you know what happened? But the key is jump on the flywheel. Well, I won't bore you with any more details. Uh, this one picture alone should suffice to say that uh, the end of this motor is uh, headed for the scrap yard. Clone head gasket, amongst other things I found. And so I'll be stripping the drive unit off the front and take the wheels off it and put them onto the other mower that's similar to this one and try to make one good one out of the two. So, oh well, every once in a while you have one that you can't uh, save. But 
in the process of not saving that one, you're still able to save another one. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, this is George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man, out here in the Shade Tree Workshop. Bye now.